Hey everybody, Brett from Stars Gaming here back with part 38 of our Minecraft Ancient Warfare Let's Play. So, just to update you guys on the progress I've made, I went ahead and I built the other stairwell on the other side here. And then, more importantly, out here, I went ahead and I knocked the upper floor off of this building. So you can see the roof starts right after the first floor there. And it's still taller than I had hoped, but it's better now. So I'll probably consider another workaround for it. But for now, this is at least usable, I suppose. So yeah, we'll probably just stick with that for the time being. Um, today I want to finish... Because we've got the lower floors pretty much done in the castle here. And so I think our next goal should be finishing up these floors here and for the most part they are the, these rooms are already built and the stairwells already come up here so what I want to do is take is the sun going down yes it is I thought that's strange okay yeah the moon's coming up I was gonna say I thought that was the uh, sun coming up and that would have been the wrong direction. Oh no, no, actually that would be the correct direction. It looked like the sun was going down on that side, sorry. Um, Cause that is east and this is west. Okay, so first things first, I wanna take this whole thing up one notch. And we may add some chiseled bricks for decoration. However, for now, we'll just do these. And what I did inside is where this tapered in. I put some stairs. So I'll probably do the same on the outside right here. Uh, but I'm not too concerned with that right now. But the, the major things that I want to have on this floor um, is going to be a larger balcony than the one we have on the second floor. It'll actually be weird the shaders look kind of funny on that so it'll actually be fairly large um, about the size of these smaller rooms that we have but definitely enough space to walk around on and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have stairwells on either side of this with a walkway in the center that will go up to the next level and also uh, to the balcony. So where do I want to do the floor? I'm thinking probably, oops, probably here. I don't know if I want it to be one block high like that. I suppose it's okay. And how high is that off the ground? Oh, more than high enough. So yeah, we'll bring this across. Um, and then as far as getting up there, we'll do something like this. But I don't think that's going to get there quick enough. So we might have to actually use stairs for that. Um, huh. Let's see, it'd be easier to gauge on this, wouldn't it? Yeah, that doesn't give us a lot of room to work with. It's just not very efficient space-wise. So we'll use stairs. And I'm thinking we'll actually break away from the stone floor and go with a spruce floor. So we'll finally start doing some you know, wood other than the stairs in here. Um, but the outer deck will still have, you know, stone. I'm not sure if I like the uh, the brick being that much higher. I'm not going to sweat it for right now, though. Okay, that should be enough room to get us started. I'll probably go bigger than that, though. Um, but for now, let's get some spruce stairs out. 
And what I want to do is right about here, I think. We're going to bring these stairs on up. And hopefully we get there a little bit sooner than we did with the slabs. Because it's not going to leave me a lot of room to play with if we don't. I suppose the other option would be to bring this down slightly. But let's see, I think we're about there. So if I go one higher, then we'll be level. Okay, I can I can work with that. That's enough space. Three. Yeah, that'll work. So let's do the same thing here. It'll be worth it. Now, uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying the new Skyrim series that went up yesterday in place of this video. Um, this obviously was supposed to go up yesterday. I decided to push it back a day and let Skyrim kind of have its own day in the sun before I uh, recorded anything else. I like to do that with new series rather than um, put them out with something else. I kind of like to uh, feature that particular video when it's the first one. Okay, so we've got our wooden floor here. And then we'll bring this across. I'm not sure how far back this is going to need to go. I go here am I gonna get stuck yeah okay so it's got to be right there and then the rest of this floor will have sp or the rest of this uh, story will have spruce floors and so we are actually almost done with this castle um, it's taken a little bit longer than I intended but it's also a lot bigger than anything else we've built so far. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the ride. I know it's been a little bit slower paced than the beginning of the series was. Um, and part of that is because I've been doing a lot more building on camera than in the past because it seemed like that's what most people wanted was to see more building and less of me just popping in the next video with something built. So hopefully it's not too much building for you guys. But yeah, that's going to be our stairway up to up to there. I don't know if I should put anything in here. I suppose I could. We'll do these three wide and have it taper in, like right here. I can't do that. That's going to be in the way. Well, I can do it from this side, can't I? There. How does that look? Perfect, so that's going to curve in. We'll do the same thing over there later. Now right here, we need some walls. And I'm not sure how high this is going to go. But this will be our little overlook. Um, slightly better view than the one down there because Unfortunately, that building is still fairly tall. Let's, excuse me, it was like a hiccup and a burp there mixed together. Um, yeah, we're still getting a lot of roof in our view, but it's better. It's definitely a lot better than it was. One thing I do need to do with this guy is add the little, uh, those things right there, just to kind of break up, break up the monotony of this just plain stair roof. But yeah, let's keep on keeping on here. Um, do I want to do 
I think it would be cool to do glass around this. So that's probably what we'll do. Although I don't know if I want to do stone or wood underneath it. But it only needs to go three high, so we can bring this across. And then... Hmm. Well, I'm going to need to bring these walls up, so... Let's go one higher. Like this. And I suppose I'll make a cut here and fill in these walls. So, actually, let me do this really quickly. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and bring all of these up to this level, and I will come back once I've done that. So I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Okay, guys, we're back, and I've got this wall all raised up now. So what we want to do here is actually figure out window placements. But also what I was thinking as I was doing this is we have these uh, stairways built up on the lower floor here. But they don't really go anywhere. They just kind of end once they get to here. And so what I was thinking is actually turning them into little towers. Um, and so on this floor they'll function as stairs and we'll just put like a little floor on it out of the way please mister tree however um, we'll bring it up to level with this I'm not sure where exactly it needs to be let's see so this is the center so let's go up okay so that's where that one goes fly please thank you and these will come up oh there's a skeleton and so there'll be a floor here, you won't be able to see down there, but these will turn into little towers on either side of the main the main structure, I guess. Just to add a little bit more like height to it and something interesting beyond the two wings in the front here. So yeah, that's I think that's the route I'm gonna go with it. Uh in the meantime, though, let's figure out window placements for this floor. So I definitely don't want anything up against this, but that's probably a good spot. And let's go like every two, maybe. And that's actually OK. Mm, you know what? This will work better. There we go. Whoa, don't fall. Yeah, that's a lot better. So let's see. One, two. One, two. And one, two. So we've got our windows there. Let's get some glass. Uh, for the front, we're just going to use plain old glass. And for these windows, I'm going to use the green stained glass. But this will frame our doors right here. Uh, I don't know if I want... I think stone would look better under there, but... We will see. Okay. Uh, we're going to have to go downstairs to do this. So it's this one. And... Where is it? Where is it? This one. So I may as well just do stone there, because what the heck. All right, let's see how that looks. Yeah, I think that looks a little bit better. So the doors will go there. Got our windows here. And then those will look just like the 
what what you call them downstairs these things the uh, archways I guess yeah archways okay so those will go out to the towers on either side there okay and I'll probably bring those up a level just like they are downstairs so I'll, I'll focus on building these up off camera I suppose um, or maybe we'll do one of them on camera and I'll mirror the other side over now we've got this little thing here. The question is, do I want to leave it like so, or should I knock these out like this and put down either like a fence, or uh, I could do like iron bars. Would iron bars make a good fence? Let's see. Yeah, they don't look too bad. The question is, can I jump it? Yeah, you can jump an iron bar. Okay. So that's not ideal, but I do think it looks a little bit better than good old wooden fences. So let's, let's go with that. And we'll do that there. Hey, come on. There we go. Downstairs. Okay, that one's already got doors. I don't think we need any more doors, so I can probably put these away. Oh, spider on the roof. Or somewhere. Oh, well, okay. So let's actually sort of build this up. These trees are going to be the freaking death of me. So I'm thinking we'll probably just go like this and make this completely level. And then we'll do stone floors just like we did everywhere else basically except for this floor. And these towers will go up fairly high. Um, maybe not as high as this, but still pretty high, I think. Um, let's see. How's that looking? Let's get on this roof. Oh, that glare's kind of bad. I'm pretty happy with it, though. My only concern is the width of this, but I think those towers will really help with that. And we can always add on, like, towers adjacent to that one right here that you access from this tower. So that's an option as well. I don't know how I'm going to be able to put windows in these towers, though, without getting rid of all these trees. So that's something I'm going to have to play with. There we go. Okay, let's actually get our stone back out. Not baton. I want stone. I keep pressing A. There we go. So we want our stone floors in here. And somewhere we'll put either a staircase or a ladder. And we'll just keep bringing these up. Yeah, those trees are going to have to go because it's just, I don't know, it's just going to be impossible to make like any kind of windows on these towers with the trees sitting there like that. 
So let's just uh, dig away the trunk here and let the leaves die on their own. There we go. Now right here, there could be like a window there. And a window there. And I suppose we could do one there as well. I should probably fill that in, huh? There we go. Okay, so now that's level. I'm thinking as far as the main building is concerned, we'll start roofing it off here. And then somewhere in the middle of this, we'll continue a small tower up, but it's not going to be the entire length of this. Ooh, let's get to bed. It got dark really quickly, didn't it? I don't know. This is this is probably my first large castle build like this. I've built some pretty large structures um, on and off camera, but this, I think, is probably the largest. I don't know that I've built any one structure this big and so I'm not really sure what to do with it uh, let's see so if I do that it would need to go like here yeah it's going to kind of ruin those windows, though, but I suppose it's fine. I can push these two over, and they'll, they'll be centered. And we could just get rid of this wall completely. We'll just build this down. Let's get rid of all this junk. So, this level right here will be stone, and we'll just bring that all the way out to this right here. Ooh, an apple. Okay, I think that's the extent of that wall as well, right? It doesn't go any further. No, it doesn't. So right here, this trunk is the last little brick we need. And then this can just come across. So let's get rid of all this brush in here. That should be enough. I think, it, oh there we go. I was going to say, is our inventory full? It didn't seem like it wanted to pick up that apple. And then in here, we'll get rid of most of this. We'll just turn this into like one large room. Like so. And we'll stick with the good old stone floors. Now, what we want to do here is we're going to move these back over. Unfortunately, right back to where they were. But that's part of... Uh, you know, building stuff like this is you gotta try stuff out, see if it works. If it doesn't, then you gotta be able to kind of adjust. So we want it there and there. And this will just be stone. Okay, so that's gonna give us a much, much larger tower to work with. And I think it's going to work out for the better. Let's fill in this little gap here because it looks awkward. I don't care that that tree's in there. 
just don't want the uh, little gap under here visible. We want, we want it to look like it's in the ground, you know? So there we go. I can actually fill this in as well. There. All right. So that gives us a lot more room to work with. We can put like a ladder right here that goes up to another floor. In here, like I said, I think I'm going to start roofing this off partially and then put a tower in the middle or maybe toward the front. I'm not entirely sure, but I'll figure something out. We're getting a little bit low on time, so I need to decide. I think I'm going to get out the chiseled stone bricks and wrap that. And I also want to do this level right here. Because I like doing a little bit of trim above the, uh, or right below the ceiling, sorry. Just because it looks, it's a nice little transition between these and the, uh, the ceiling or the upper floor material, I guess, is probably a more accurate description of it. It just adds a nice little, like, decorative border, I guess. Um, I don't know, I just, I prefer the way it looks, and so I generally do it. I've done it on all the other, other floors, if you've noticed. So we'll just keep the theme running here. And obviously, I should probably continue it through there, but it's not a huge deal if I don't, because it's not visible. At least not from the inside, it might be from the outside. Yeah, so... This will wrap around... And it'll continue all through here. Oops. Didn't want to knock that one out. Okay. So we have our little border. And that actually looks nice from the front, too, because now we don't have... Just a solid wall of cracked bricks going all the way up. Sort of similar to what I did here. Just a nice little way to break up the uh, the uniformity of the walls, I guess. You don't want something that's just one block all the way up. It's just very, very plain looking. And it doesn't really... I don't know. I don't know what the word is. I'm not much of an artist, <laughs> so I don't know what... What the uh, proper description would be, but um, one thing I'm going to do is, oh no, the doors, I'm going to put that there, because if it were opening inward, it would be fine to have that wood, but since it's opening outward from here, it makes more sense to have stone there. Um, let's go grab our doors and replace them. Oops. Hey, hey, come on, come on, there we go. There's one and two. Okay, and so I think we are about out of time. We got a little bit done, not as much as I'd hoped, but this castle's almost done. You can see we're getting very, very close. And I probably could have just uh, brought it up to that level and finished it there, but we've gotten this far, we may as well go big with it. Um, like I said, this is the biggest thing I've built so far, and it's going to be probably the biggest thing we do in this series so we may as well go all the way and from well let's look at the other side this isn't going to be a very good indication so we'll put some windows in this tower here and we'll bring it up at least another floor and obviously we'll mirror that on the other side I'll I'll do that off camera though you guys don't need to see that uh, but yeah I think that's where we're gonna go ahead and end it so um, thank you guys for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, let me know what you guys think of the castle so far in the comments. If you've got any suggestions for ideas for the upper floors, definitely let me know. 
Um, and I will see you back here for part 39 of our Minecraft Ancient Warfare Let's Play.